Welcome back. America is a melting pot of nationalities, all proud of what our country represents. And on Memorial Day, we remember those who laid down their lives to protect those ideals. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh shows us how Portuguese American military members are being honored at the Veterans Memorial Cemetery. One Portuguese American veteran I spoke with said it best. Everyone buried here at the Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Exeter have one thing in common. They served our country, but their backgrounds and ethnicities were different, and those are honored as you drive through the cemetery. However, one ethnicity is missing until now. It's uh, something you don't forget. 102 year old Arthur Medeiros knows firsthand freedom is not free. This World War II veteran remembers vividly serving in Belgium at the Battle of the Bulge. It was terrible. We had a lot of the boys that got wounded. Most of them before the first stage could get to them, the age, they, they, they froze to death. He said his secret to a long life is a positive attitude, but Memorial Day is always difficult. It's a little emotional, you know. Sure. This day, we're sitting in the Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Exeter, in front of the future site of a memorial honoring Portuguese American veterans like Arthur. And like Michael Andrade, who was killed at just 28 years old while fighting for our country in Iraq in 2003. Oh, he would, he would be completely honored. I know that. He was a proud Portuguese boy. <laughs> Michael loved to represent himself in, in the community and also, you know, uh, Portuguese in anything in our church, in, always involved. His sister sits beside their mother, Maria, who was so proud of her son and his sacrifice for his country that she too now is a Portuguese American. She got her U.S. citizenship after his death. It's nice to be able to come here and, and see this and, and, and recall those that served the country um, along with those other nationalities. Korean War veteran Bill Rogers' brother is buried at the cemetery. His brothers served in World War II and the Vietnam War. This dog tag and photo are his fathers who served in World War I. He was wounded once in his leg, left leg, and his arm, and he also uh, was gassed, the mustard gas. Pride in being American was instant for John's grandparents, who changed their name from Rocha to Rogers when they came here from the Azores. I think it's something that we really needed um, to represent us to all those that pay the ultimate sacrifice, really, for all of us. Rhode Island Day of Portugal President Ana Dos Reis Cotu came up with the idea while volunteering at the cemetery a few years ago and got the cemetery's approval in early 2020. A week later, I get an email. Oh, by the way, there's someone else that's interested and has the same idea and has asked the same question. And his name is Father Victor Silva. Together, they fundraised and hired an architect, Sid Silvera, whose design represents each branch of the military as well as Portugal. The Portuguese cross, to me, as like my whole life growing up and all throughout history, it's just been a prominent fixture. It represents Portugal for in many different facets over the years. If you'd like to help fund the memorial set to be unveiled by Veterans Day, you can find a link on our website at WPRI.com. In Exeter, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.